Carlson. You know, so, okay, we're talking to. I'll try to get in front of you so I can see it. What's your name? Carla. Carla, and you're fighting too, right? Yeah. How's the training going with the cigarette? Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. That. It's a bad idea. <laughs> could be, this is just advice you might want to maybe ease off on this a little bit before your fight. Okay. okay. Just because of the breathing. Totally. Yeah, I'm actually really afraid of that part. That, but we'll see. Okay. And I figure cigarettes make me feel better, right? Now, what weight are you? I'm at 162. Okay. And so you're in the. You're in the fight. Okay, so you're you can fight your boss then. Yeah, I can totally fight my boss. Does that motivate you? Yeah. What kind of training do you have? I've been sparring with a buddy of mine, wind sprints, a little bit of weightlifting just to get a little stronger, but mostly just sparring, like just hitting shit and hitting pads and okay. running to drop weight. Yeah, get ground game. No. No. But I thought there was no ground game in this one. No, I was just I was just wondering. I was just asking yeah, in general. No, there's too much for me to process. Like that's the reality about what you guys are doing. Like I think I'm a smart guy. Until I'm actually doing it, where it's like, man, there's too much shit. Do like, you remember? Yeah, exactly. Like, there's so much information. You know, like, MMA is a little different than like boxing, where you learn one discipline and you have to learn a lot of stuff. So it's, it does get kind of. I always tell people, a lot of the boxers are pretty educated, you know, college degrees, that kind of oh, stuff. Because yeah. there's a lot of stuff to. You guys are smart. To, to put together, you know, after a while. So, uh, well, hey, I'm wishing you luck. Thank you. I would probably lay off the cigarettes. You Thank know? you. But we're gonna be here covering that. If breathing's a problem, I'm gonna when I'm we're doing play by play on live radio, uh, I'm gonna probably comment about the cigarettes if I see you breathing hard. Okay. <laughs> so first round. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Well, you might be commenting about me hitting the fucking ground fast. <laughs> <laughs> Saying. <laughs> Any others, anybody else in the smoking club fighting, or is that it? <clears throat> no. Oh, that's okay. Hey. All right. All right. Hey, this is this is a little different for us. This is. Tough interview for me. Okay, let's. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Did you just try to throw me under the bus by myself? No. <laughs> so we just—you kept rolling, right? Okay. So one of the lead guys in charge of this operation is a camel smoker. That's right. I'm not a big on the smoking thing. Is it filtered? Does that help? I, I don't. They're lights, camel lights. Okay, so it's not as bad as the hardcore stuff. I'm told. Uh, I'm told you quit no. three days before the fight. You know, secondhand <laughs> smoke can have the same water. effect. You should be downwind. I mean, upwind. That's true. Are you smoking, Herman? If you're no, over, Herman. Okay. If you're like over here, cool. Wind's going that way. I don't want because you look like you can. I mean, you, this could be the fight of the night. With the, with the <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a good fight. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, you, but you. Same thing with the breathing. I'm gonna, I can't just throw him under the bus. I'm gonna be on you too. Seriously, my uh, my trainer told me it's I should keep smoking. He said uh, quit smoking three days before the fight. He said that's the trick. Some of our members might might want to know the name of that trainer so they can go there <laughs> and get endorsed. Throw him under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said he said while well, I'm doing all my uh, uh, circuit training, all my cardio and everything, that my smoking it's actually making my lungs work even harder. This is serious. You're being this is serious. This is like serious. Now, I'm, serious. I'm actually thinking. I'm actually thinking that Sammy, who we, we met uh, first over there, I actually think that he's paying the trainer to tell me these things. That's kind of my suspicion, but I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, but supposedly, you <laughs> this know, is he tells me he tells me he quit three days before the fight. He says that's about the right amount of time for things to clear up a little bit and get that that sort of rush of endorphins and whatever. And wow. anyway, I, I, I yeah. Hey, you know, Profile Network. We we cover all aspects of combat sports. And including the ones in the office apparently now, which is good. Uh, it's gonna be a little different element. I like it. Uh, Chris, we have hit some new territory today. Yes, I'm excited for it though. We're yes, we fun. are. We're gonna have fun. So, okay, so that's about it for the fires. Other guys on the phone. Yeah, yeah, we'll try and okay, see. We'll, we'll, grab we'll wrap it up. All right, thanks guys. I didn't need, need to do that. Thanks, thank you. Yeah, thanks for making the time. Huh? Yeah, of course. I gotta get this guy. He's one of the founders of the company, so uh, oh. he's real colorful. Well, he can get off the phone if he's a founder. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what is going on? Hi. What's your name? Mark. Mark. Nice to meet you. You two, you like one of the founders of the finale? Uh, yeah. It's a big secret. <laughs> you just told me. I, we can, I can edit that part if you want. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, what way are you fighting? You're a bigger guy. Yeah, I'm a bigger guy. You're like a little bit bigger than you. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't okay. play about it. My camera guy, uh, Steve, has pretty big. Adds guy. a little weight to you. Yeah, he's um, 10 pounds heavier, but apparently some girl at the gym thought he was 170 today, but that's um, a different story. You guys are a little small. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to hold it against you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Um, what weight are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm supposed to be uh, fighting in the 185 class. 
How's that going? Okay. I mean, are you close to that weight? Um, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't think you were. Sam I didn't want to say you were very to bounce, but I mean, you, you look heavy. You're, you're a big guy. I mean, that's, that's yeah. a compliment. Yeah. Um, do you have to get down that weight, or do you have to do the Fu Man? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably end up, because the problem is I'm going to be traveling the week before. and um, Hard to diet on travel. Yeah, it's hard to exercise and diet, and I take people out, so I'm going to be just watching food in my face. So are you going to go up a weight class, or is there no weight class? There is no up weight class to go up. So you possibly won't be fighting. I possibly will not be fighting. And actually, I have this freaking, this tall, skinny nothing to fight, actually, in the first round. Well, then you got <laughs> my man over here. He, he looks like he's in trouble, too. Look at him he's eyeball got, everybody. He's, been, he's, he's been, eyeballing he's all the fighters over here. People since I, got here. I mean, he looks tough. I don't, I would, no, 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 yeah, he's tough. Um, but then the, him, the tall drink of water behind you is... Um, We're first fight, the two of us. Chris, yeah. Chris for how about anybody who doesn't make weight, they fight you. No. Oh. <laughs> in the sumo suit. So that oh makes it a little God. more fair. Sumo, I'm not, those things thing. I'm not getting one of those. <laughs> so, okay, so we might be, you might not be fighting, but uh, we hope you do. We hope you make weight. If you need a diet plan, I'll help you before that. I don't know. I yeah. want to see you in the ring because you look kind of, this could be fun. It could yeah. be a good fight. No, I, yeah. no, I signed up. Um, so you see, uh, and, you know, the date changed. Yeah. And unfortunately, the date that changed is the week that I'm traveling. Okay. The whole business thing. So well, you signed up. That's yeah, part, that's part of the battle. Zuma had the ring. Okay. And if you know, if there was a higher weight class, I probably would have just jumped up into a bigger weight class. Right. But um, we don't have a higher, higher weight class. So. If you're just if you're one of the co-founders, can't you make it a weight class and then declare yourself a winner? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I mean, yeah, I'm throwing um, stuff out there, man. Yeah. No. I can't do that. No. Good luck if you do make weight. I don't think you will, Thanks, but hey, let's, <laughs> good luck. Guys. And let me know if you want me to put you on a plan and get bigger like me. You, show me a move. <laughs> show me a move, and then I can counter it. No. Just, no, I want to see how your training's been going. This guy, this guy hasn't gone to a single day of training. No, so I went one day. I went you did R1. go one day. I went to R1 Most people have been training about two months, you know, a month and a half. One day? What did you learn? One day. I went to, well, I, I wrestled in high school, so. Oh. That was a little bit, and then um, I went to R1 and I did um, uh, I did the um, MMA stuff. I did the MMA stuff, and then for a day, for a day, and then I did another class. So I was there for like three hours, and then I did um, uh, my uh, Muay Thai fighting. You didn't buy? Did you buy a shirt and stickers and put them on your car and stuff like that? Okay. Those guys, uh, those guys annoy me a little bit. Guy, I mean, just the one day guys. Uh, one guy? No, just uh, people in general will show up to like, you know, Randy Couture and they'll put a street couture and they'll talk to me at the gas station. Yeah, I went there one day, but it's good. It's okay. No, I went one day. You know, be like if some guy worked here for a day. If some guy worked at your company for a day and then went off and told me, oh, I worked at an hour. Right, got business cards and went around and I. Yeah, same thing. So, okay. Are we out of are we out of people? Are we good? Um, we, the only guy I think that we missed was probably Brian, that guy over there. Catch me out there. This is good. We can. Uh, we, get, we definitely want to get some time with the CEO. There. Absolutely. We're yeah. going to back and talk to Chris. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thanks, man. I'm not going to see in the ring, but. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs>